deemed highly contaminated and it's right in our backyard. But many of the locals are unaware of the dangers lurking in those waters because of a lack of warning signs, which has now caught the attention of environmentalists. Peter Thorne has more in tonight's Fact Finders report. Places on the government Superfund list are some of the most contaminated in the country, and Fact Finders found one in particular that's very close to home and has two U.S. senators and environmental watchdogs concerned over what they call extreme levels of contamination and a serious public health risk. A sunny summer day. Fact Finders takes a walk in the woods and finds a place we recommend you avoid. Because we walked right into one of the most highly contaminated pieces of land in the United States. Right in our area, we found this stream, the Bound Brook, in South Plainfield, New Jersey, which runs into this lake. Where every day, kids swim and fish and play. Water the EPA calls safe for recreational use. Even though upstream, it's contaminated and runs right alongside this Superfund site. One of the nation's worst toxic waste locations. Independent investigators found high levels of cancer-causing PCBs and asbestos inside these devices called capacitors, a kind of industrial-strength battery dumped here years ago, now literally bubbling to the surface along the banks of the Bound Brook. People are catching and eating fish. That's the main way they're being exposed. And EPA has only two warning signs for two and a half miles of brook. Tough to read signs like this warning don't eat the fish. And signs like this you have to search hard to find because they've fallen into the dirt. This is what the warning signs do. They all come off. They all fall apart over time. And there's toxic waste that's going from this site into the brook and going downstream to where people are fishing today. Are you going to eat the fish? Definitely not because it's very polluted. We saw it one episode here. There was, like, fish all over the side of the lake. What are you telling me? What did you see? That there was, like, fish all over the lake. Dead? Yeah. And Fact Finders got a hold of this official report, which points out residents may not be aware of the warning signs and may consume their catch. We can come here. Children do come here. And it's unclear to us, especially with the fact that this is an area where kids are being exposed, why they wouldn't just clean it up. We know that there are capacitors probably buried adjacent to the industrial park. Um, however, it's a remote area. Um, they're not at the surface. Uh, and we do have warning signs uh, at, along that section. Uh, warning uh, potential trespassers uh, of the potential risk. EPA officials admitted to fact finders human exposure is not under control. And pending an investigation, they have no idea how many more batteries might be buried by the brook. The New Jersey Department of Health uh, took a look at all of our data, and uh, they determined uh, uh, that um, the recreational user can uh, use the Bound Brook. EPA officials tell fact finders they are working hard to clean it up for good, just not fast enough for critics like Robert Spiegel, who this year stumbled on capacitors oozing toxic chemicals into these waters. EPA immediately removed them, but Spiegel worries many other chemical poisons remain hidden underground, and others have already surfaced, like the stuff he showed me after first putting on rubber gloves. What is that gray, chalky substance down there? Right here, what you have here are chips from a leaking capacitor that are filled with PCBs and other chemicals. I'm holding pieces of piece, pure PCB capacitor. As you can see by this stuff, you still have pieces of capacitors right here, right here, and, and right behind you. See that black stain? Yeah. That's all PCBs. Asbestos. What is that? Asbestos. It causes lung cancer. Um, especially when you breathe it in and you can see that there's pieces of this asbestos all mixed throughout the other toxic waste that's here. Am I okay to be standing here in front of that? Actually, we shouldn't be here too long. EPA's project manager took me on a tour of the old industrial facility causing the problems, pointing out how much work they've accomplished at the Superfund site. Tearing down contaminated industrial buildings, cleaning homes and soil, monitoring air and preparing new probes to find the extent of groundwater contamination. EPA says they're working on solving this problem. Your concern is that they're not doing it fast enough? Well, okay, when we look at these and we see these capacitor pieces sitting at our feet, and EPA is saying that they came out here and removed that, you know, the, your eyes don't lie. Both of New Jersey's senators have urged the EPA to remove the buried capacitors at Bound Brook using special emergency cleanup powers. EPA says they are cleaning up the contamination as quickly as possible, have kept the public informed, and say the areas in question are far from normal public access. Now, if you have a story you want fact finders to look into in depth, make sure to leave us a tip at our website, cw11.com slash factfinders.